And my colleague Dave Bowman is here now to tell us why getting that 60% of the votes may not be easy. You just have to look at other states. And here, for almost 20 years now, Florida has required at least 60% of voters to approve ballot measures to change the state's constitution. Most states require just a simple majority. And when it comes to the issues of easing abortion restrictions and legalizing marijuana, a lot of state ballot measures got more than 50% of the vote, but very few got 60%. Since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, voters in six states approved measures that would loosen abortion restrictions. But if these states had Florida's supermajority rule, these measures would not pass in four of those states. Sixteen states in the District of Columbia have voted on proposals to legalize marijuana for recreational use. Of the 13 that passed the measures, 10 fell short of the 60% threshold that Florida has, including the reliably blue states of California, Oregon, and Massachusetts. With those numbers in mind, do these ballot measures in Florida on marijuana and abortion face an uphill battle? Really, it's going to be about the framing. And we already see that Governor DeSantis is framing these two measures as extreme. Uh, and what is going to be incumbent on the supporters of both measures is to be able to counter that. University of Florida political science professor Daniel Smith specializes in ballot initiatives. It's a high threshold. Uh, we are changing the state constitution. Uh, many would argue that that makes sense, that we would have a supermajority, but it's no uh, piece of cake, that's for sure. Public opinion on ballot initiatives can change quickly. In 2014, a plan to legalize medical marijuana in Florida received just 57% of the vote. It failed. Two years later, medical marijuana was legalized after 71% of voters said yes. Shannon, back to you. Dave Bowman, speaking of that, the Florida Chamber of Commerce has come out against legalizing marijuana for recreational use. The chamber's own poll shows 57% of Florida voters approve. That is, of course, below that 60% threshold you've heard Dave and others talk about. The chamber's president predicts support will dwindle when people consider legalized pot's impact on children and businesses.